Investigative journalist Laura Bond just mentioned the fact that chemotherapy stimulates cancer stem cells. But what's a stem cell and what does this have to do with cancer? So what, 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 what is a cancer cell and where does it come from? Well, we used to think that any cell could become cancer, except for a few limited ones. We thought that if you irritate a cell enough and damage its DNA enough, it'll become immortal and just keep growing. Now we find out, well, that's not true. Only stem cells seem to be the source of cancers. And stem cells are cells that, are, that haven't decided what they want to be yet. They're very primitive cells, so they can be anything. Be a heart cell, a brain cell, you know, lung cell. And so these, these uh, stem cells are all through your body, just sitting quietly. Uh, but if you damage the DNA of the stem cell enough through free radicals or whatever, uh, it'll become immortal. And then it just keeps producing more and more cells. It wakes up and it's producing lots and lots, thousands, millions, billions of cells. And it becomes a cancer. But it's the stem cell that's pouring it out, kind of like a water hose. It's pouring all these droplets of water out. Uh, the trouble with chemotherapy and conventional treatments is they have no effect on the cancer stem cell. They only kill the daughter cells, the cells that are produced by it. So the tumor will shrink and they'll claim success, but you haven't killed the stem cell, so it all just comes right back. And what they found is when it comes back, it comes back infinitely more aggressive than it did before. 